Hey there everybody. Today I just wanted to make a quick little video showing how to set up the Chevy MyLink system in a 2016 uh, C7 Corvette. This is applicable to a lot of different other Chevy models, but today we're just going to focus on how to do it in this Corvette. Um, going to go through how to set up your phone and um, just do a couple other little uh, settings that you can kind of make the car your own, personalize things for however you like it. So the first thing we're going to do is show how to set up a phone. So right here on, you, know, you can press the home button down here and this will always bring you to this um, home screen. So to set up a phone, let's go ahead and click the big phone icon and it's gonna show no devices paired. If you just bought this car brand new, that's what it's gonna look like. If there is someone else's phone there, if you bought the car used, um, there'll probably be a little red um, minus sign next to it. You can click that and delete it off and then you can go ahead and pair your own device. So we're gonna go to down here, pair device. So after we clicked pair device on the uh, Chevy MyLink system, we're gonna go into the settings app on your phone, and then we're gonna go to Bluetooth, and then in underneath the devices thing, oh, here we go, down here on, under other devices, we're gonna click Chevrolet MyLink. It's gonna load, and then right here on this screen, if you saw that pop up, it says pair new device, and it shows a code on there, 031486, and it shows the same code here just to make sure that you're pairing up the right device. I'm going to click pair and then over here I'm going to click yes those pins match and now we are fully synced. So now you can use the little you know you can go over here and press on here say a command or say help and you can call using your phone now and you know that's a really nice feature. So Speech session ended goodbye goodbye okay so now that's how you pair a phone. So that's pretty basic. Um, that's like on a lot of other cars. So now, you know, to kind of personalize the car and make it your own, how about let's go down to the settings uh, app on the Chevy MyLink. So under settings, one thing that's pretty cool is let's go click on the driving mode button. And under driving mode, you've got a couple options here. Engine sound management is really cool because if you go ahead and click it, when you buy your car from the factory, it's gonna be in auto mode. And what it is, is when you're in sport and track mode, your exhaust is going to be louder. It's going to have those two outer exhaust um, openings fully opened. And you're going to get that real loud rumble. And then you have the option, though, of actually being able to pick and uh, keep it stuck in a stealthy quiet mode. I don't know if you can hear the difference there. If you can hear like that extra little rumble, because right now I'm in sport mode, so it's doing the sport mode um, exhaust sound. But then in stealth, it gets a little quieter. And then you can go into tour, which sounds the same to, as stealth. And then sport's a little louder, and apparently track is a little louder too, but I don't really hear it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So I usually just keep it in track, um, because I like the sound of the exhaust. But um, then what you can also do is let's go to steering and that will give you um, your different steering options. So once again, if you buy it from the factory, it's going to be in auto mode. Um, so that'll just be dependent on what driving mode you have the car set into. Or if you like it a specific way all the time, then you can just go ahead and click, uh, you know, whatever mode you want. So I have an auto mode because I don't really care as much about the steering. I really like the exhaust sounds. That's why I have that one in track mode. But, you know, touring is going to give you softer steering. You know, you can move it a little bit more. I really don't feel it of really a big difference between the different modes myself. Um, but yeah, you know, touring, it'll be a lot more relaxed steering. And, you know, in track mode, that's going to be a really stiff steering. And so, you know, that's going to be really good if you want really precise, you know, if you're going to be, you know, taking it to the track or something, you know, that's going to be really good for you. Um, and I think if you have the, um, one of the upper trim levels on the Corvette, you have the, uh, the magnetic ride suspension, and I believe you might have a mode, um, in here for that, if you have that option in your car, um, which would allow you to adjust, you know, how, you know, if you want a stiff suspension all the time, which I wouldn't recommend, um, or if you want to be able to be in sport mode, but still have a little bit of a softer, you know, um, suspension. So, you know, those are all options for you. Um, another thing that we have is valet mode. 
So all you have to do to enter valet mode is enter a code. I'm just gonna do that. This is very simple. You just go into valet mode and enter a code twice. You press lock and it flashes. So what valet mode does, this is like pretty simple. All it does is it turns off your radio so people that you know, are driving your car, they can't like be blaring the music and stuff. You go over here to the glove box. It won't open, it's locked now. Um, you know, AC and everything is still available. Um, you can still change the track mode and stuff like that. So I feel like that's something they probably, you know, maybe could have locked out to like touring mode or something. But um, they didn't, so that's fine. But yeah, it really doesn't, oh, and it block, it locks out the, um, the behind infotainment screen thing. So you can press the screen up down button, nothing happens. Um, and then all you have to do is when you get your car back, go ahead and click your, oops, yeah, your code, and then click unlock. Oh, and that's pretty cool, I forgot too. So if someone tried to open your screen, when you go to uh, unlock the um, valet mode, it will push the screen down telling you that someone tried to open your behind screen storage. So that's actually, I forgot, that's kind of cool, um, yeah. But yeah, so that's just a quick little overview of some of the stuff you can do with the Chevy MyLink system in a C7 Corvette. Um, and you know, how to pair your phone. You can also do Apple CarPlay, but I don't have a cable with me right now, but all that would do is you would have, when you plug in your phone, so you can either plug your phone in using one of the iPhone cables or whatever into the USB port, excuse me, the USB port back there, or you can plug it into one of these ports in there. When you do that, then on here, you're gonna get a little icon that says Apple CarPlay, and um, all you have to do is click on that, and you're pretty much gonna get, um, you'll get like a little Apple Home button thing on the side here, and it's gonna look very much Apple-esque, as it'll have um, your music app, Pandora again, um, what else? There's a couple other apps. Um, it doesn't let you do like texting, I don't think, and you can't play movies or anything like that. So you don't, it's not like you get like a full like iPhone screen on the MyLink um, infotainment screen. Um, but you get like a core subset of apps that you would need to use while you're driving. Oh, and you get the navigation. So like my car doesn't have navigation. Well, it has the OnStar thing, but it's not real navigation. Um, but yeah, so like I use that a lot if I need to use my phone for nav, um, I can just use the Maps app on the Apple CarPlay through this screen and that's really nice actually. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick little overview of how to sync your phone, how to do a little bit of customization with your car. Um, that's about it, I think. Let's see if there's... Yeah, I mean, some of this stuff is pretty, pretty just basic. I mean, you know, there's lots of different things you can go through on here. You can set like how long you want your lights to stay on, like when you exit the vehicle at night. Um, here's how you can set up your rear camera with the guidance lines. This car, like I used to have a, a different vehicle and it had the sensors on the back that would beep. This car doesn't do that. You just have the option of with the backup camera either turning the guidance lines on or off. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's it. Yeah, so you know you get some cool stuff that's unique to a Corvette that you don't get in a lot of other cars with being able to change your um, steering um, sensitivity and also the exhaust which is really cool. Um, so I hope this was you know, helpful for some people. Um, please give my video a thumbs up and I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any other questions, leave some in the comments below and I can help answer anything. Okay, have a great day. Also, if you didn't know this, if you just hold the power button for a few seconds, that looks great.